Hello, friends and neighbors. Here we are at the lake house, chilling <laughs> on a Sunday. How are you, Mom? Relaxed. Yeah. So, I mean, we're forever working and showing them what it looks like to work. Yeah. This is what it looks like to not work. Yeah. <laughs> we are not working. Did we have a good four days in Florida? We had a great four days in Florida. And oh, Florida, by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you for the temperatures this week. They were fabulous. Yes. I always laugh, though, because I've told many of my friends, we are such Israelites grumbling in the wilderness because we'll be up here in Georgia complaining about how cold it is. Then we go to Florida and say how hot it is. <laughs> we're just going to grumble, so let's do our best not to grumble and complain. But to just say thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day you gave me. Check out our view, y'all. Yeah, I think even what's more important than checking out the view listen. What do you hear? I hear birds. I hear a boat motor off in the distance. I hear a little quiet music in the house. So how was y'all Sunday today? Awesome to see y'all. Hey, Justin. Yeah, we're home till March, first week of March. We're heading out to Illinois, I think. I know we're in Indiana, Indianapolis, on that Saturday, the first Saturday. Then I know on Monday, we're in Indianapolis on Sunday, and then Monday we're with Tim Livingston over in Dayton, Ohio. So that'll be fun. So, hello from Branson. Yes, it's very peaceful here. We need it. Hey, Grant Welch. Good to see you, buddy. Grant's helping us promote Hometown Festival, the Easter Brothers. First time, past, uh, he's a pastor. He was a pastor, but he's the mayor now. Mayor of Mount Airy, mayor of Maybury, wants to honor the Easter Brothers. So we are doing just that April the 22nd on a Saturday at 4 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be good times. We want y'all to get your tickets. You can go to the Andy Griffith Playhouse and go ahead and order your tickets, get you a seat. Uh, it's selling good. Tickets are going good. And I thank you, Grant Welch, for getting behind this. No, Grant gets everybody fired up and mad about the Easter Brothers. So that's awesome. So uh, see a lot of highs from there. Howdy, friends and neighbors. Where y'all staying at? This is our uh, lake house here in Lincoln County, where we're from. We bought this in 2016. We built our first lake house in 2004. Then we upgraded and bought this one. Got a better view here on Clarks Hill Lake. We're literally over there. If you see across that lake is a red buoy. That is South Carolina. So that's the Savannah River. It separates uh, Georgia and South Carolina. So we're on this side of McCormick, South Carolina. So, hello, Barbara Flowers, friends and neighbors. If you haven't got our new CD yet, go get it. Whether you download it, go to our website and order it, jeffandsherryeaster.com. It's called Treasure. The thumb drive comes with two CDs, Treasure and Sing It Again. That Sing It Again has never been on a USB, so you can get it on a USB. I love relaxing and doing nothing. How can they get tickets for Dayton, Ohio? I don't know. Go to our website and look. Uh, you are so much help today, Jeffrey. I'm telling you, I really don't know. I know Tim Livingston. Uh, he's yes. in Dayton. He's promoting it. Uh, if you go to our website and see the venue, look up that venue on Google, and it'll have a phone number, and they'll tell you how to get tickets. Uh, I look forward to seeing everybody up in Ohio area to come out and see with us and see uh, or come see us. It is peaceful here. Sherry just said a while ago we hadn't talked to you guys. Let's do a Facebook Live. I think we may be at Myrtle Beach on Tuesday for just a day and then come back. So we may not do a Facebook Live Tuesday night. We'll see. But uh, hello from South Carolina, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jeff Gibson. Hi. Moses let God's children forty. 
Y'all, Jeff Gibson wrote that classic right there. You know why? Because he is a classic. Jeff's a classic. You got to be old to write Canaan Land is just in sight. <laughs> I mean, that was Glenn Payne with the Cathedral's big hit. Oh, and golly, God. Jeff. Okay. So there you go. Come to Texas. We are coming to Texas. I don't know when, but we are booked in Texas coming up. But uh, we're going to have a wonderful day. Hey, the best way you can find out anything about Jeff and Sherry Easter is go to jeffandsherryeaster.com. And it is spell out A-N-D. My name is S-H-E-R-I. So please go and check out anything from our dates to my product to um, any anything going on in our lives. Uh, Facebook is probably more of a current events way to keep up with us, like what we ate for lunch kind of things. <laughs> Ooh, Glory House. Shout out to Glory House in Lincolnton. Yeah. Little Roy and Lizzie had just left when we got there, they said today. So uh, that's an incredible place to get good home fiddles right here in Lincolnton. It's near, it's right between the elementary school and the high school. Uh, Glory House. Yeah, Teresa, my sister's got it going on. She's keeping an eye on them tickets. She's wanting to make sure everybody gets a ticket. And it is to honor the Easter Brothers. So we'll be doing a lot of their songs, a lot of video footage of the Easter Brothers. And it's called Easter Brothers Hometown Festival. First one we're doing. It's April the 22nd, and we're going to do one every year and have different talent come in and do it with us. So we're so excited about it. All right, we love y'all. Sherry, tell them while we're down here. What did we just do? Uh, well, I see that's... There are some things in life, Jeff, that people just don't need to know. Yeah. <laughs> she took down the Christmas tree. Shh. What mama. is this? Is this February? Yes. February 19th. My mama's birthday was January the 23rd. And one year she waited until January 23rd to take down her Christmas tree. Well, of course, me being young and naive, I thought that was atrocious. How dare you wait until January 23rd to take down the tree? Well, every year around the 1st of November, we like to put up a tree down here at the lake just so that when we come in, there's that nice little glow. It feels like the season, and we enjoy it. Every year, this is the last tree that I take down because we just we like Christmas trees. <laughs> and the sound was here during Christmas. They did the concert with us here, and uh, they... Uh, and, and they got I, to enjoy the Christmas tree. And it hurts me to take down the last one. Yeah. You know, so I always put it on. We'll be back down here in November to set My it back up. My come down before January 1, but this one, it, it lingers a while. So that's what we did today. We took down a Christmas tree. Well, we love y'all friends and neighbors. Yeah, don't tell nobody. Just keep that between <laughs> us. Hey, I'll talk to y'all. Bye. <laughs>